We'd seen these massive top-heavy wooden power boats as we sailed through Indonesia and we had no idea what they were or how they built them. Just to give you an idea how big this boat is, I'm six foot four. Now wait. Is this iron wood as well? Yes. This is iron. I know. You have uh, 50? 50, no? Yeah, 50. 50 how much, how much, how much money? What? How much does it cost? Mm, billion. A billion. A billion. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Okay. 28 countries later and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. It's a good day in paradise today. It's windy, we got two fishing lines out. We got cell coverage. Ashley's, uh, I don't know, on her phone. <laughs> no answer. We're heading up to this next anchorage and it should be pretty cool. We'll go check it out. We've been making our way through Indonesia, starting in the east and sailing west with the trade winds. About halfway through our voyage, we found a village which specialized in the construction of these wooden boats, locally known as Phoenicis. We've anchored off this little spot called Wera. It's it's kind of a cool little town. There's there's these giant uh, boats they're building, like giant Phoenicis. And there's tons of little kids rowing out. <laughs> you live here? My name is... My name is... I don't know what that means. Reflin. Nama saya Reflin. Nama saya Mushi. Ah, okay. These guys right here have rolled up. I'm not quite sure what they want. They speak uh, Indonesian and uh, I don't speak Indonesian. Books. Oh, you want books? Yes. School books for school? Yeah, yes. Yeah. With pencil? I have some. Do you want some pencils? Pencils? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. How old? How old are you? <laughs> Don't know. Okay. Fanta. Fanta. Batter your teeth. <laughs> Bye. boats in the water there's one over here that's just massive I'm guessing high tide and a lot of men just to give you an idea how big this boat is I'm six foot four just insane I think they're using chainsaws to build these boats not quite traditional anymore but it's pretty cool Some that is incredible. So this is Denix. Denix okay. is uh, gonna do a little. He speaks English. Okay. Here. <laughs> okay. Two two people. Okay. Okay. This is Denox, and we just met Denox here. Yes. What's your town called? Where? Where? Vera. Vera. And uh, he's gonna show us around this boat. Okay. So tell us about the boat. You can see this. The iron wood. Iron wood. Iron wood. Like you hard. Oh, okay. It's uh, very strong. Yeah. Yes. Very, very strong. strong. Okay. We can go inside. No. I will explain you. Okay. Okay. You know that uh, this iron, iron wood, comes from Maluku. Maluku is one of the provinces in Indonesia. Yeah. Ah, okay. Up by in Maluku. Ah, Ambon. Yes, yeah. you're right. This is very difficult to find, especially for the Indonesian have uh, any regulations. Very rare. Very, very rare. Yeah. Hard. Very hard. Yeah. Uh, Okay. And, and this is this iron wood as iron well. Wood, iron wood. So the ribs are iron wood. This ah. is iron wood. But the processing for finishing this big ship, the time more than two or three years. It takes two or three years to build a ship okay, this big. Two That's two crazy. Very very long. Many woods. So if they have this wood down here, okay. 
then it's faster, quicker. Okay, faster. Yeah. Faster. They maybe can finish it two years. Okay, the space. You can see the space. Yeah. Okay, the space. They use the special bamboo. Okay, like this is. Yeah, they can use the bamboo. Yeah. Okay, and then take maybe four more. Yeah. And then to use this is. Okay, to the so hammer. They take this bamboo, they shave yes. it off. Yes. They make small oh, shavings. Make small, yes, yes. From the bamboo. Yes, you're right. Okay. And then they put it in here. <laughs> okay, put here. Okay, and that makes it watertight. Okay, maybe we can go yeah, down. You're very good. Okay, <laughs> okay, go down. Okay. Yeah, how much? How much? How much money? What? How much does it cost? Mm, billion. A billion. No, no, more than seven, more than ten, according to the big biggest. So you're saying depends on the size of the boat. Mm. But at least one billion. I think that more than five. Five More billion. Than five billion. Five billion rupiah. Million. So how many US dollars? US dollars. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you want me to go first? <laughs> I'm going down. Very because okay. Denix, I'm scared. Be I'm careful. afraid of heights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> nice to meet you too, uh, Denix. I have a dream. Go to the New Zealand. To New Zealand? Yes. Yeah. 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 We're on the top of this boat and uh, we got to go down. Down is right here. I don't think they have safety regulations in Indonesia. This is pretty sketchy. Oh. Made it down. So these are the wooden dowels they use. They have like stacks of these over here. Check them out, it's crazy. Pretty cool place, eh? Yeah. This is the outside of the boat and the thickness of this is huge. And then if you look closely, there's actually wooden dowels that go into it. That keeps the outside of the boat together. And then once they finish the outside of the boat, they start fitting the ribs, which is what they're doing right now. And if you look up, there's a sweet shade happening here. That's a crazy like, awesome shade thing. You notice he put on his uh, safety glasses and then proceeded to use a chainsaw with bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> These are a lot of work, man. Like, it's kind of intense. We've seen boat building before, but this is a super scale boat. These are big. And there's a bigger one down there. So this guy down here, he's actually shaping the rib to be the same size as the boat, to be the same form of the boat. It's kind of cool. So they start with like, I guess, a raw piece of wood shape it approximately to the hull of the boat and then they fit it more and then they draw out exactly the curb as they're building the boat. Like the brighter one there? Yeah. Denox is like the best tour guide there is. I'm sorry sir, <laughs> you have uh, 50? 50, no? 50. 50 because you have two, I will give information to people. Yeah, yeah, we give you another. I, let me check. Okay. You're a good businessman. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is the keel, the bottom of the boat. Yes. And it's it's more than 50 Mo centimeters. More, more than 50. So over half a meter. And it's very heavy. Huh? Very heavy. More than one, 1,000 tons. Wow. Yes, yes. And then I will explain this one. Okay. You can see this is the iron. Iron. Metal boats. Bolts. Iron, right here. Yes, iron. Iron. Yeah. They use the wood. Yeah. Okay. Muse. Why? Why wood and why iron? Ah, uh, because uh, if they use the stainless, yeah, maybe they can use the all iron. So they have a formula. They use uh, some wooden dowels and then they use some uh, metal bolts. But the metal isn't stainless, so it rusts. It rusts, yeah? yeah? So sometimes they, they intersperse the wooden dowels and the metal bolts. It's genius. They use a combination of modern <laughs> tools okay. and old school knowledge to make these boats. Because they use epoxy, okay. they use metal bolts. Maybe and, uh, that's all. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> Denox, I have, okay, Denox. Denox, I have, I have one more question. Oh, okay. How does this boat go into the ocean? It Bye. is very big. 
Yes, Hermi. Okay, I will explain before. Ah, this is. Okay. Okay, this one is the boat. Okay, this is ship. Ah, like this is the bamboo, the sail, many many kinds here, and then the rope, many rope here, many rope, yeah. and the long rope here, the long rope here to the another big ship. Okay, another big ship, like this is. <laughs> so finish. So everyone helps. Yes, everyone every, helps. Everyone helps. Everyone helps. Everyone helps. Oh, the okay. whole village comes and. <laughs> yes, on village. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the bamboo I mean before. Yeah. Okay, the bamboo. So this is what we call at home corking. <laughs> um, okay. And they put this between the cracks. <laughs> okay. To stop the water, yeah. Okay. I I will explain you, craftsman. You said this is. And then. The hammer, tack, 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 tack. Okay, for all the space because uh, there is not space for the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is no space yeah. for the water. Is this iron wood as well? Yes. This is iron. Iron. Yeah. yeah. Iron. Yeah. All iron. All iron. Okay. Because uh, and then so that uh, I will explain you for before the craftsman yeah. will make a long hole. Oh, for the propeller? Yes. For the ass. For the ass? Yes, for the ass. Very the long axle. ass. Okay. Axe, is it axle? Axle. Axis. Axis. Oh, yeah, okay. axle. Okay. I'm sorry, maybe uh, the, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe the our focus is different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I understand, I understand. Uh, okay. So, axle and the yes, engine. Axle. But uh, this is used for the one engineer. Yeah. But uh, if two engineers, they can use it another one. Ah. To make very long here to oh, make the hole. They make a second yeah. engine that goes from yes, here second. up to there. Okay, okay, yes. You're I right. See. Second. I see. To the second message. Okay, then you. <laughs> Denox, okay, okay. thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Walking around, no problem. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Denox is out of here, man. He just took off on the moped. Dude, he just totally scammed us for quite a bit of money, but you know. Whatever. It is what it is. I got the info. That's what we wanted. It's pretty cool, though. This boat, which we're standing under, this huge boat, this huge boat, is a combination of modern technologies such as, well, I don't even know if you can call it modern, but I guess epoxy, metal bolts. It combined with like old school, like bamboo shavings shoved into holes and ironwood hand carved into ribs. Well, not hand carved actually. They use chainsaws and planers, but yeah, it's but pretty good. It's pretty cool. And then when they go to launch this boat, I'll show you on the front. Well, they got a uh, a winch system that goes through these huge pulleys that continues up there. So they use like, they use everything. It's like Indonesian ingenuity is so cool. They, they just make it work. And they said it was worth a billion rupiah, which works out to, how much is one million rupiah, Ashley? <laughs> Hello, Google, one billion. To American? No, he said at least one billion. One billion rupiah to US dollars. Well, it's about 70,000. US dollars. So it starts at 70,000. Yeah, so I think they, they, he says they start at 70,000. I'm not sure Denix actually knows how much this boat is costing, but it starts at probably $70,000. We're actually not totally sure. We have no, no idea. If someone knows, please let us know. But uh, our, our sources are sketchy. I think, I think multiples of $70,000 US, so probably this boat will probably be worth well over 100,000, I would guess. Which is a lot. Maybe not. It's a lot for Indonesia. Maybe. So here at the front of the boat, they've built up um, all the scaffolding. I'll show you. So this boat, this huge boat behind us, they get this into the water apparently by using like everything possible, all means possible. So there'll be a boat out there that'll be pulling. There'll be uh, everyone whole... will have ropes attached to every all over ropes everywhere, and they'll be pulling it in, probably helping balance it too. And I guess they wait for high tide, and it's just a matter of force. So there's enough people pulling, enough boats pulling to get this boat in the water. A thousand tons moved into the water. Crazy. It's crazy. This place Maybe is they crazy. dig a trench so it's downhill. Who knows? Yeah, I would guess so. <laughs> but now they've got to go through a shipwreck because right in front of it there's a little bit of a 
disaster. Should we go check out the village, Ash? Sure, let's go for the walk. So they've just beached this boat here and they're stuffing, it looks like some sort of wood fiber material in the crack, so it must have been leaking a bit. So this, it looks like they're corking it with this, it's like sawdust shavings. And they're shoving it in and pounding it in. I guess it swells up. <laughs> This is a big fishing boat, eh? Yeah, it's a big fishing boat. Look at the things coming out of it too.